welcome everyone. Thanks for joining the venture. Today I'm in Old Fort Erie in Ontario, Canada. Walking right up here. Right from here you can actually see the American City Buffalo. Right across over here you got the cannons. And you got the city of Buffalo right across over there. That's freaking amazing. Look at this. Fort Erie was the site of the bloodiest battlefield in the history of Canada. This is a giant cobweb down here. It says danger, confirmed space, enter by permit only. So we're not going to walk down there, we're going to leave it over there. That's pretty cool. We're walking in here now. And I actually believe that might be the sally port. Walking up here right now. And this is where they fired guns, the British and the Americans, both when they had the fort occupied. Look at that, you can actually see um, see the water out there. Over there. Yes, look at that. Yeah, it's very hard to get a bullet uh, coming through, but it's very easy to get a bullet coming out of there. Well, it is very narrow. However, you have more space um, over here, but uh, it narrows down from there. Yes, they shot out of here fire their guns, British and the Americans, when they both had the fort occupied. We're going to be walking in over here, that's where that big explosion happened, 200, 300 men were lost. Take them right over there as well. Wow, look at this place. Wow. It smells very strange in here. Oh my god, those are creepy, those freaking dolls, holy. This looking out the windows. Wow. It smells very musty in here. Definitely. Oh, look at this. This is insane. Right over here was where that explosion happened. 200, 300 men were lost down there from an explosion. Dude, do you smell like that weird musty smell? It smells good. The floors are creaking. Definitely. Look at this. Wow. Did not see this ever. Is that fox skin? Wow. Jason's taking some pictures over here actually. It smells very musty. Probably not the best idea to stand too close to the windows. Um, because this place is uh, supposed to be haunted. And so yeah, standing close to windows would not be good because I could get pushed out of here. I do not want that to happen. Maybe I shouldn't even be saying that at all. Wow, yeah, this place is supposed to be severely haunted. This is insane, Jay. It's awesome though. Be very careful walking down over here. Don't want to fall, get pushed, or anything like that. Supposedly, there was actually a ghost or an apparition, some kind of spirit that was caught in the kitchen over there. Ghost or hoax, you decide. Look at that. It's crazy. Kitchen right over there. There's cookies on the table that I had. It's creepy. Right there. Some beds. That's where you went to the bathroom. In that cup. As you see. Very old. Very old. Look at that. It's insane. Beds. Wow. It's made of cotton, too. We're gonna walk out of here now, and like I said, that's where that explosion where 200, 300 men lost their lives. August 15th, 1814, the British actually came to the fort and attacked the Americans because the Americans had occupied it by that time. Very crazy, and a lot of men lost their lives. Thousands and thousands of men lost their lives just on that one night, August 15th, 1814. That is insane. After all the battles here at Fort Erie, they actually reconstructed this place in 1939. And apparently, the sally port right over here, as you can see, well, when they were actually um, digging up bones that they have found in the battlefield and stuff, they actually took the bones, and yes, they mixed it with mortar, and with that mortar, they used uh, that mortar to build the sally port, and that is insane, and you're supposed to like smell human uh, flesh, so, let me see if I can smell any human flesh rotting bones. Very creepy and eerie feeling in here right now. 
definitely a, a definitely a really different smell than you would smell in the actual rooms because the rooms had a very musty uh, smell that had like a, it felt really dry in there somehow I don't know if that if there's such thing as a dry sense but it felt really dry in there oh look at that not sure what's in here that's really weird it's like a turning door I'm walking up here right now and you can see a uh, fort behind me right back there that's insane right there those rooms smell so musty very very strange but uh, I'm gonna go back in them it's amazing look at that nice little view so yes this place uh Fort Erie over here old Fort Erie in Ontario Canada is supposed to be very haunted and there's a lot of dark history behind it and also this was uh, the place where the bloodiest battles, the bloodiest battles ever took place in Canadian history. Right over here. Insane. British and the Americans. The British had occupied it for a while. Same thing with the Americans. August 15th, 1814. Very bloody night. Thousands of men died that night. And uh, there was an explosion in the northeast uh, area over there. Where the rooms is actually right where the kitchen is. And there was an explosion that took out 200 to 300 of the men alone. That is insane. Walking into the Sally Port. Yeah, definitely uh, a way different. Uh, you don't smell the same smell as you do in the buildings. That musty smells more of a. I don't know. It's really weird. Very dry, actually. Look at this guard room. What is this supposed to be? I have actually no clue. Is this an ankle chain? <laughs> okay, we're gonna walk up these uh, stairs over here. Apparently, uh, the guy up here does not like um, people up here. And uh, they say that you could get pushed down the stairs over here. Any of these stairs. You got the open windows. Don't wanna stand too close to those. I swear to God, if I get pushed. Actually, I probably care about my camera more than that. Look at that. You got some this little clothesline up here. Like garments, dresses, fireplace. Got some games up here. As you can see, checkers. I have no clue what this is, actually. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like that, actually. You got cards over here. Probably shouldn't be touching these, but... Dominoes. You got some mugs for good times. And plates. Over here are beds. Look at that. Okay. Yes, I'll try not to go near the windows. <laughs> oh my. That window just opened and closed by itself. Holy crap. Holy. Oh my god. Okay, it's very dark up here, but I got this little voice memo thing, and apparently I could record audio on it, so I'm gonna see if I could get any responses. And we're going to see if we can get this window to close that has opened twice already and closed. Very slightly and eerie. Very weird and creepy. Okay, so yeah, there's not that much good lighting over here, but the window is open. I'm right over here. I got my iPod. I'm going to try to record like some voice memo thing on here. Um, EVP kind of sort of thing, um, which is basically a spirit voice. And we're going to see if we can capture anything. I've already seen this window slightly open and closed twice, which is very insane. So we're going to see if we can capture anything. Me and him are both actually recording. If there's anything up here right now, say something. Right here I captured an unexplained banging sound. Listen carefully. Okay, I'm now walking downstairs and when I walk back up here, I want to see if that window's opened um, still or if it closed. I'm very curious on uh, seeing that. Okay, so now me and Jay are going to be uh, walking into the office's quarters and we're going to see if we can uh, maybe see anything that's unusual. And we're also just going to check it out in uh, plain general. So here, as you can see, well, office's quarters. This is where they probably ate and uh, dined and had a good time, I guess. Um, while things weren't too rough, you see the checkered table over there, you have it roped off. I'm not gonna like do anything stupid and cry more. I'm not gonna do that, okay. okay. It's roped off for a reason. Okay, so actually right over here, we're walking up to Captain Kingsley's room apparently, right Jason? So actually right over here, a lot of people and a lot of workers actually say that they've been uh, pushed or touched and also guests. So 
Well, apparently this guy does not like men, and he actually likes to physically push um, men, and he likes to actually grab a woman's um, hair and uh, brush um, his hands against their hair. So we're going to see if we can maybe capture anything, and we're also going to check his uh, room out. So we're going to walk up the stairs. Hopefully I don't get pushed. Actually, you know what? Push me. Let's see what happens. If I get pushed down the stairs and I break my neck, it's going to be pretty stupid. But That's Captain Kingsley's bed right over there. That's where he slept, and actually he died in that bed. As you can see over here. Very weird. Wow. Look at that. They got it roped off though, sadly, so I can't walk over to the bed. These are these are actually on there pretty good too. Look at that. I still want someone to push me down the stairs. I really don't know why, but I want to see myself get pushed. What a bad zit. Ugh. Okay guys, so I don't know what this is. I haven't really heard about this much. This is just a little room and they just got a hose in here, but Jason's gonna close me in here just for one sec. You're gonna go outside, bro? Yeah. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't feel bad in there at all. Yeah, they're doing a mortar demonstration over here. Let's check out this. If you're ever in the United States, if anyone's here from the United States. Fire! Holy, that is loud. I swear I got fired out. You can smell it too. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, we're walking back over here now. That was sweet, actually. Looking around this corner, what is that garbage can? Yeah. So I'm right over here. I'm not exactly sure what this area is, 100%. Um, I'm not sure. I don't have the information on exactly what this is. But curiosity kills the cat. Remember that. Um, but we're going to go down here. We're gonna check it out. Wow. Wow, look at this. Storage. Stored uh, powder in there, and it definitely smells like gunpowder in here. This is the powder magazine. That, that just like fell out of my pant. That was weird. This is in the powder magazine. Did you guys see the face over here? That's like embedded. Doesn't that look like a face? Yeah. Looks like a head, like there's like a hat. There's the nose, that's creepy. This is the powder magazine. If you're walking up, the powder magazine's right down there. I can't believe I didn't know what that was. Look at that. These giant cannons over here. And uh, cannons are very deadly. Cannon, uh, these cannonballs can pass through many men. Stairs. The soldier barracks. Only people up here right now is me and my brother. We got the musty smell. We got the stairs. And is the window still open? Yeah. Okay. I want to see if this window could close. Someone could close the window. Right now, I'll leave you alone. Window's still open. Oh, there it goes. Seconds later, after I asked someone to close the window, I got a response. Right after the window moved, I captured some unexplained footsteps. I then concluded that this was paranormal. <laughs> one that's doing that it keeps opening and closing like it was open all the way just like the other ones but that's the only one that's actually closing that is messed up that is creepy and eerie for eerie <laughs> wow but all these and it keeps making that sound i don't understand these other windows can open and close and it's, it's look it's opened all look it's opening right there the other one just opens okay so right over here i'm walking and i just dropped my paper information 
pick that up first. Okay, so right over here, I'm actually walking over here, and this is where the explosion, 200, 300 men lost their lives, right over by the kitchen. Right, there was a huge explosion. Flames came up August 15th, 18, uh, 14, roughly around 2 a.m. in the morning. And a lot of men lost their lives right over there where that explosion happened. We got the kitchen up here. There's he performed surgeries actually right up in here. As you can see, they have a surgeon table with uh, blood on it. I'm not sure if it's real blood or if it's just red dye, but I'm pretty sure that those tables did get bloody. And over here's the kitchen. Explosion happened right over here in this area. Flame shot up. There's the kitchen in there. Sally Port right over there and they, like I said, they made that out of the actual bones. Some of the random bones that they found in the battlefield mixed it with mortar. They made the Sally Port. That's supposed to smell like rotting flesh and bones. Over here you have the towers. And over here, they actually shot out of these. The British and the Americans when they had the fort occupied. And with those little holes, as you can see, you stick your gun through and you fire. Yes, and uh, they went through and uh, they got the men. They found many American bodies buried at Snake Hill. That's Grinner right there. They call him the Grinner because he looks like he's smiling. Let's take a drive over to Snake Hill. They found Snake Hill and the remains when they were constructing this house. All around this plot of land there was bones found. These bones were American soldiers that fought at Fort Erie. Old Fort Erie in Ontario, Canada the site of Canada's bloodiest battlefield. Thousands of deaths, many battles, and lingering spirits. This used to be a sad, bloody piece of land, which makes it a paranormal hotspot today. Ever since I left the fort, I feel like I'm being drawn back, and I will be back. While I was at Old Fort Erie, I saw it, felt it, and captured it.